We're Kyle and Maddie, and we're currently traveling the world on just 60 US dollars a day. Our recent adventures have landed us in Shargao, the surfing capital of the Philippines, which just so happens to be right up our alley. Our days while traveling can look really different. Um, traditionally, you go in naked. But we're going to show you a day in our life in one of our favorite islands on Earth. A good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> we got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. Good morning from the beautiful and peaceful Shargao. There's just a couple roosters making noise this morning and we have our little dog friend here. She keeps on asking for pets. <laughs> we're camera shy. But today we don't have a whole lot planned so kind of going to go about <coughs> So don't have a whole lot planned so we're going to go about our like, life that we kind of made in the past couple days on this little surfing town. Yeah. Should be fun. First off, we make breakfast because our amazing Airbnb has a kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it allows us to save a little bit of money by cooking, but we just love cooking in general, so we yep. really love having it. So we always eat breakfast in. And I saw you. into the gates of heaven and here. <laughs> it's so hot out. <laughs> Alright team, finished breakfast. Now we gotta finish getting ready so we can go check out a few surf spots yep. to see what we're dealing with today. Yep. Mm, I don't know where the shirt is I wanna wear. Probably dirty. Well it's probably dirty and it's probably in our beautifully kept room that's so clean. <laughs> Probably over in that area somewhere. Well, we haven't done laundry in, I'd say, three and a half weeks, so stuff's getting dirty. <laughs> like Kyle said, we pretty much don't do laundry nearly as enough as we need to, and I think any person who travels like full time would completely agree with that. But um, a company called Scrubba did send us this bag, so. Um, you just put water and stuff in it and you're able to wash your clothes. This is how we've been surviving the past three and a half weeks. Anything that just gets super smelly, we put it in here, put laundry detergent in it and clean it. And it gives it at least one more wear. So, it's nice. All right, now it's time to change. <laughs> and we are all changed up. We just gotta put some sunscreen on, maybe some deodorant too. <laughs> then we're gonna head to our motorbike. Our Airbnb isn't exactly like in the middle of everything, so we have rented a scooter for the week that we're here, and we made sure to get one that has a surfboard rack on it so that we're able to take our surfboard everywhere. All right, let's go. We just pulled up to a place called Jacking Horse, and we're not exactly sure if the waves are good here right now, but it's really close to our, our place, like a five minute scooter ride, so we're gonna check it out first. Waves are looking pretty small here right now. I don't know. There might be there might be a couple good sets. Yeah, we for surfing we don't consider ourselves absolute beginners, but we also I would say are maybe in the lowest level of intermediate you can get. <laughs> <laughs> and these waves are pretty tiny right now. It is also coming on low tide, so um, mid tide is like kind of like when we like to come to jacking horse just because the current isn't as strong and the waves are a little bit bigger than they are now. Guess 
we'll see. We've decided to stay and try to catch some of these pretty small waves, but you know what? It's better than nothing. It's really close to our place. We don't have to drive anywhere else, so. We're also a little bit sore <laughs> from the past few days of surfing, so some tiny waves with not a lot of current will probably be good for us. Think so? Yeah, I think so. We'll be fine for right now. As you can see, the water is like shin deep right here on me. And last night during high tide, it was like up to my to my chest. So quite a big difference in tide at jacking horse. a couple but they're just really small up here and it is so shallow with all the reef right here hurts your feet Two of the locals, they were like, just come, like, I was like, kind of in between, like, the, where the beginners are. And where I the, saw you, like, you, you weren't, like, where the waves were. Well, they were breaking there, like, right. a little while ago, but and then they, like, stopped and they're further out. And then one of the local dudes, he was like, come out with me, don't be afraid. And I'm like, I'm a little bit afraid to go out there, and he's like, just come out. Like, come and get one out here. So then I was, like, paddling, he's like, you need to paddle faster. <laughs> and then he's like, you need to scoot further up on your board. While you paddle. And I was like, and then another local girl, she's like, scoot further up on your board. So I, like, while I paddle. Was it easier to paddle like that? Yeah. Okay. And then, when we were out there, he was like, basically like, I tried to catch a couple waves and I couldn't. And he was like, come over with me. And then, like, right when a wave was coming, he was like, turn your board around now. And he was like, paddle as hard as you can. So I was paddling, and I knew I wasn't going to get it. And all of a sudden, I could, I know that he shoved to the back of my board, and I got in, like, one of the really big waves out there, and I rode all the way in. Cool. I missed it. I didn't see it. I was at the little snack shack ordering a banana smoothie. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. The waves up here are just too small. And I was a little afraid to go out deep, but I listened to two locals and they helped me. So, super nice. Hi, Brady. Waited about 30 minutes for this bad Time to cook. On today's episode of Kyle and Maddie's Kitchen, we have a plethora of things we are going to be eating for lunch. One of them being leftover spaghetti sauce from last night's dinner. Some fried rice with um, a random beef tapa pack. And we're going to make the leftover spaghetti from last night as well. So it's going to be great. Got a lot of stuff going on over here. Making spaghetti noodles, making the beef tapa, making some rice over there, and then gotta fry the rice too. But. So while Kyle finishes up cooking a little bit, I have gotten started on some work. And what I mean by work is I'm going through and I'm looking at the next video we have to edit. I'm going through like our YouTube channel analytics. I'm answering comments on YouTube. I'm looking through our email. It's kind of like all a little bit like busy work stuff. But um, in a few minutes, I am going to start editing our next video right after we eat lunch. Well, we are finished eating. It's time to clean up the worst part, but I'm not gonna bore you with us working. So when we go to head back out, 
we'll see ya. So, see you in a little bit. Well, we ended up not going surfing again because we kind of needed to get a little bit of work done. But we are now heading out to a restaurant, food truck, that we are meeting our friend at and we're going to kind of explain it when we get there, I think. Yeah, so let's head that way. There's so many ways to be happy. All right, here's Tall. Hey, it's me. It's him. <laughs> Hi, how are you? This is the traveling plat. Welcome to the food truck, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're at a food truck. Yeah. He's gonna, it's his friend's food truck, so we're gonna try it out. Maddie and I, want, Maddie and I have been wanting to try it all week, so. Well, we had to wait for Tall. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. I appreciate you guys waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> this opened during the pandemic, I think over a year and a half ago. Uh, and it used to be just fries. It was fries, then it was sandwiches, and rice bowls, and now it's Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. Tal, he ordered the um, Esau tacos, and that is pig and, or chicken intestine, so. I'm not sure if I'm gonna order that. I don't know, yeah. I might get the tequila chicken. Hmm. I'll probably do a uh, chili con carne so Maddie and I can try each other's. <laughs> Perfect spice on it too, like not too spicy. Wow, that's really good. Alright, so Maddie had the tequila chicken and I got a chili con carne. It's a pork. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a good taco. We miss Mexican food while we're traveling. And this hits the spot right here. We are headed out to go to a famous bridge right now that everyone goes to at sunset. We actually passed it in our last video. Uh, everyone skates skateboards there, everyone takes pictures there, so yep. Paul is taking us to go skateboard there and neither of us skateboard. So, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but also, come to this taco truck, it's so good. Oh, it is really, really amazing. But, all right. End of the bridge. Let's go. There's so many ways to be happy. We just made it to the main bridge that everyone's on, and it is lively. Tal said that it will get significantly busier the closer we get to sunset, but it really is just a great spot to hang out and watch everyone skateboard. All the people are skateboarding down here who were surfing earlier, so very cool. Well, Tal showed us the bridge, and there's a lot of people skating. They say that it's going to get a lot busier. We were here the other oh, night when it was oh, really yeah. busy, so locals come up, they eat their balut, and <laughs> I'm going to take you guys now to a secret spot, and nobody knows about the skate. It's quiet and it's beautiful. Well, let's go see where the secret spot is. We just got off the motorbike and made it to where Tal has called the Hills of Libertad. It is gorgeous out here. Like. This is like so beautiful. Amazing. There's, there's nobody here, and it's all just wildlife and beautiful, like rolling mountains. And it's so gorgeous. Crazy. Skating tips with Hall. I'm not a professional <laughs> skater by any means. <laughs> uh, the best thing to do is just keep your knees low. As long as you keep your knees low, you're, you'll gain your balance back. Same thing with surfing. You just keep like a, a low center of gravity, yeah. and then you'll be able to just keep yourself stable, and then sort of move, work on the movements a little bit. You know? This is going to be terrible for me. <laughs> I haven't skated since middle school. Our neighbors had a half pipe in their garage. We used to skate on that a little bit, but... And I you know. am quite literally the clumsiest person you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> so. Try to keep your foot a little further back. Okay, now right and left. Right and left, knees low. Knees low. <laughs> left, 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 left. Oh, that was good. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Here you 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 go. Here you
you're good. Are we on a rock? I think we're on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're good. All right, Maddie's giving it a shot. She is brand new to skateboarding. Never been on one before, You've never really. Been on so. A no. I'm not gonna let go because I'm a little afraid. But yeah, I am. Try to... <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. Keep yourself forward. They're perfect. Now lean left. Left quick. Okay, here we go. Oh. Big rock. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got it. <laughs> I got it. You're not gonna fall. I'll catch you. But just give one big push with your leg, and then try to just come right back on. Hey, she's hey, get right? she's getting it a little bit. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> How's that, Maddie? I don't. I don't think I could do this on my own. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do. Very tall. Show us how it's done. You gotta do that. Professional, right here. Popping on. <laughs> oh, X Games mode. <laughs> hmm. We have a professional on our hands. <laughs> Maddie and I are <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> and sweating. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Very pretty back here, though. I Very know. cool. Title: The traveling clack gets trampled by a cow in the Philippines. <laughs> She's salivating. I think that's a good sign. Huh? A good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't run me over. You got full control here. Oh. Why are you just like Dude, look at good guy. at everything? Were you pretending? <laughs> no. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretending. <laughs> Well guys, it's been a pretty fun day here in Chargao. Maddie and I, we kind of love it here. <laughs> we get to relax, we get to surf, we get to skateboard, and then we get to we meet get up. We get to meet great people. Yeah. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Tall's channel, it's The Traveling Clan. Check me out. Yeah, check it out. Check me out, please. <laughs> check them out, feel them out, it's whatever. So, well, that's our day. So, next time we see you, we will be, sadly, out of Chargao, so. Yeah. We'll see you next time.